beautiful because of Jesus. He has given us life and life so abundantly. Again today, we are going to dance and freeze hands in the hair and what freeze. and freeze butterfly, butterfly, and freeze, freeze. frost Woo. and freeze. freeze. You're going to do anything, you're going to freeze. dance, shake your body, and then you freeze. Remember, you're very special. All right, let's go dancing. Uh huh, everybody, let's go. Uh huh. Work your hands. Uh huh. And freeze. Let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's right. Butterfly. Butterfly. And freeze. Uh huh. Let's go. Another stroke. Uh huh. And freeze. Let's go out. Uh. Children, I can't see you. Uh. Woo. Uh. Uh. And free. Uh huh. Are you ready? Let's go out. And freeze. One more. Let's go out. Uh. Run around, run around. Run around. Uh, uh. Freeze! Are you freezing? Ah, I can't see you. One more. Let's go. Uh, uh. Hey. <laughs> yeah! You know how to freeze. Wonderful, wonderful. High five, high five, high five. Yes, yes, you know how to freeze. freeze. Bye. Bye, bye. Continue dancing and freeze. Let's go out. Uh. Uh. Children will come to church. It's a brand new day. We are going to break the dust for our Savior. Are you ready? Come on. Everybody, clap your hands. Uh -huh. You're doing great. Let's do it again. Ah, ah. Yeah. It's a brand new day. Brand new day. So I give.
Kids Connect. My name is Hannah, and with me I have my wonderful friends. Mitchell, my name is Mitchell. I'm Maggie. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. And last but not least, Abigail. Yes, let's open with a, with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. Thank you for all of our lives. We pray that this lesson will be a blessing to us, and that we'll learn something, and that we'll put it in our lives. In Jesus' name I've prayed and believed. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much, Hannah, for praying for us. You're welcome, Hannah, Mitchell, and Abigail. You're welcome, our friends at home. We are so excited to see you. Hi, it's always Hi. a joy to pray with you. You're so welcome. Hannah, Mitchell, and Abigail, were you in church last week? Yes. So who remembers the lesson for last week? Well, last week we learned about being being kind to people physically and respecting people's bodies. Yes. We learned about loving our neighbors physically by interacting with them in a safe way, not by pushing them and... Yeah. Thank you, Mitchell. Abigail? We learned last week to love our neighbors physically by giving them a hug or a fist bump or a high five. Thank you for the wonderful answers. Our friends at home, Yes. You agree with us? That is true. You love hugs? Yes. We learned about loving our neighbors, loving them physically. And we learned about the fact that we need to respect their bodies and our bodies. And we say that we should be in safe places. We shouldn't be alone. And we should not cause our neighbors to dishonor their bodies by taking them to lonely places or even asking them, to take off their clothes. So today, we are going to continue loving our neighbors. And we're going to look at loving our neighbors and what they have. So children, what are some of the things that you have? I, at home, I have a laptop. Okay. And also at home, I have a phone. You have a phone. Who do you talk to uh, on your phone, Mitchell? I talk to my mom, my dad, and friends. What kind of conversations do you have with your friends? I mostly talk about school. About school. Yes. So you discuss the school work? No, we talk oh. about what happens. Oh, what happens at school. That's very good. Abigail? At home, I have a lot of clothes and shoes. Like how many pairs of shoes? Maybe five or six. So you wear a different pair of, uh, pair of shoes every day? Yes. 
That is brilliant. Our friends at home, do you you have a Barbie doll? That is that is beautiful. You have a scooter. That is nice. You have a bike. Okay. And your bike is pink. That is, we thank God for giving you the bike. I also have some things. I have uh, some shoes. I have, uh, I have uh, clothes. I have earrings. I have books that I read. I have some things at home. So children, are there are times whereby you see some things and then you hope and you wish deep down in your heart that those things were yours. Yes. Does that happen to you? Yes, it does. Yes, Hannah, you can share your experience. So I really, really want Jordans, but I can't get them right now. But I still choose to be happy with the shoes that I have. Okay. okay. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel disappointed. Okay, but yeah. you're happy. Yes, but I'm happy. Okay. Mitchell? Yes, this is the time that I went to my friend's house after church and... I saw a PS5 and I really wanted it. I begged my mom to get me one, but she said I had enough. So, And how did yeah. that make you feel? Sad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Abigail? There are also certain of clothes and shoes yeah. that yes. I like a lot, mm. but at this moment I can't get them. So how does that make you feel? Sad, but I'm going to appreciate what I have. Okay. So even me, there are certain things that I see and, uh, and I admire those things. Yes, I admire those things. And uh, for me, there are times when I'm going home and I'm walking by the road and I see cars and I admire them and I keep pushing this car was mine. But oh well, then I thank God because there are other options that I can use. So I jump on a border border and I go to where I'm going. Yes. I also have a question. What's your question, Mitchell? What's your favorite car? My favorite car. So, my favorite car is a Jeep cross country, black in color. Oh, I also love black. You love black? Yeah. Black is a wonderful color. Yes, it is. That is good. Our friends at home, are there times whereby you admire people's things? You do? So, your friend has a, a purple bike and you admire it? Okay, okay. Okay, that is true. Thank you very much for your contribution. So children, what should we do when um, we see those things that we think should be ours, but like we don't have them? How should we respond in such situations? Yes, Abigail. We should always be grateful for what we have and what God and our parents have given us. Thank you, Abigail. Yes, Mitchell. Yes. We <coughs> Sorry. We should be satisfied with what we have because the people who got them, like our parents, they worked really hard to get them. That is a very good answer, Mitchell. Thank you very much. Hannah? We should remember that what all that we, people, there are people out there who don't have what we have, so we should continue to be grateful of what we have. That is very right. And even the Bible tells us children in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 to 10, that we should be content with what we have and what God has given us but content, children, what does it mean to be content? Anybody? Abigail? To be content means to be, to like what you have. Yes. And be appreciated for what you have. Okay. And sometimes go to your parents and say thank you. Thank you so much, Abigail. Anybody else about being content? Yes. Yes. I think being content means being happy with what we have, mm. even if it's not much. Yes. 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 Being content means being happy and grateful to your parents and to God for what they have given you. Thank you so much for the beautiful answers. Our friends at home, yes, you're saying being content means that we should actually even count our blessings and be thankful for what God has given us and what our mommies and daddies have given us. So children, what happens if we keep on admiring other people's things and we keep hoping and even dreaming about them as we are sleeping, wishing they were us? What does it do to our hearts? Yes, Mitchell. Sometimes we still, and also sometimes we get tantrums mm. when we're asking our mom and they refuse. We get tantrums and... Yeah. Like you lie down, you roll on the floor, yeah. and then you, 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 you say you're going to go and get lost. You're going to go to the road and the car knocks you, such things. Yes. And then when you go to the supermarket, how do some of us behave in the supermarket? Yes, yeah, sometimes we just grab things and put them in the cart, but 
our mom puts them back and we get really angry. And okay. sometimes we can create a scene in the, in the supermarket in front of everyone. Wow, I can imagine. Uh, what else happens if we keep on admiring other people's things? Yes, Abigail. We can steal and we cannot really want to be their friends yes. and hurt them. Yes. yes. Hannah? It makes us jealous of them. And then we, we are mean to them. We don't like them. Yes, we end up being mean to yeah. them. Yes, that is true. Anything from our friends at home? Yes, that is true. That if we keep on, you know, admiring people's things, we may end up becoming jealous. And then sometimes we could start scheming and plotting to get rid of them. That we can take their things, which is not right. So, as we come to the end of our class, how can we be grateful for what we have? We can be grateful by not looking at what other people have, but being happy with what God has given us. Yes, Abigail? We can be grateful by loving what people have given us, yes. and we know that some people don't have those things. Thank you. Mitchell? Yes, we can also go to our parents and thank them for all that, are, that they have given us. Thank you so much, Mitchell. And right now, our friends at home, stand up majestically, walk to mommy and daddy and give them a very big hug. And you thank them for the wonderful things that they have given you. But also, take about a minute or two and thank God. Clap for Jesus and thank him for the wonderful things that he has given you. Do we have a question? Any questions? So, Auntie Maggie, yes. when you are about our age, was there something that you admired yes, that other I people did. had? Yes, I was in a boarding school and we had children who used to bring new shoes every time. And then for me, my mother was too kind. She would buy me shoes, very strong shoes, and I would wear one pair of shoes for three terms. So term one, term two, term three, some pair of shoes. And there were children who used to bring new shoes every time. So I'd always admire them and I'd keep wishing that I had new shoes every time. But I was also grateful that I had shoes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because some children didn't have shoes. Yes. So thank you very much for joining us today. Do we have any other questions or anything to say? No. Yes. So as we think about uh, the new week, let us purpose to love our neighbors and what they have. Let us celebrate our neighbors. Let us jump for joy with them when they get new things. And also pray for them to God to continue blessing them. Yes. So children, the Bible tells us that only those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior will go to heaven. So now is an opportunity for you to accept Jesus in your heart. Is there anybody like that? Anybody? Yes? You want to accept Jesus? That is the best decision that one can ever do. Let's pray together. Please repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. For my sins. Jesus, Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me for all the bad things I've done. For all the bad things I've done. I accept you, Jesus. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Jesus. Jesus, help me, help me to do the right thing, to, to do, do the right thing all the time, all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I ask all this. I ask, I ask all this through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with us. We love you. Have a beautiful week. Bye. Bye. Children, we're going to worship in this song together. We're going to surrender everything to Jesus. We're going to surrender our hearts, our lives, everything, our families, our school. We're going to surrender it all to Jesus because he is our savior. He is our father. He is our everything. Are you ready to sing this song with me? All right. to sing I surrender. Let's sing together. I surrender it all to you, Jesus. I surrender to you, 
You are my 